Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a palette collection. This is just going to be my high-end palettes just because I have so many palettes. When I've done both high-end and my drugstore palettes, I would have just this video would be like an hour long. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with high-end. The first one I have is my Tarte, I think this the Make Believe Yourself palette. I love this palette. It's a nice sparkle. Um, you can't do full, I mean, you might be able to do full eye look if you use just the matte shade and then one of the random metallic shades, but yeah, I love this palette. I love it just to add sparkle onto the looks. I have a lot of matte palettes, so this kind of adds on to just the matte look palette is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Same thing with this one. This one's all sparkles. It has no matte shades. This one's my favorite and I use the purple quite a bit too. This is just all glitters and they're super, super glittery and pigmented. That's the black one. Well, Galaxy. I haven't used Lightyear. I might use Lightyear in like a Halloween tutorial this year just because it's so pretty. But I do love this palette also. Um, both of these don't. I've never decluttered any of my palettes because I don't think I could ever part with any of them. I just love palettes so much. I love my makeup so much and I don't want to ever declutter it. At some point I might have to, but as of right now I'm not. Next is the Tarte Man Eater palette. Uh, I love this palette. I think they might still have it on the Tarte website. Some Altos have it. My Altos still does have it, but I got this in like January. This palette's loved. Um, I did take a huge chunk out of that, but I do use that one quite a bit. I love this palette. I love these little mini palettes from Tarte. I only have two, but I definitely want to get more because I love the two I have so much. Then next, I love Tarte palettes. As if you haven't been able to tell yet, this is my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I don't have the first one. I do have a sticker on it because I was going to film a Project Pan video, but I just forgot. So I do have stickers. I'm still trying to do Project Pan, but just like on my own. I'm not filming it. This one is probably my worst, the one that's in worse shape. This whole entire thing came out because my dogs actually chewed on this, so all the glass is broken. I have chew marks all over it because of my lovely dogs. But even before this one fell out, it fell out because I hit pan on it, so it was already breaking. But I've almost hit pan on Jet Setter, I've hit pan on Funny Girl, I almost hit pan on Firecracker. I love this palette. This was the only palette I was using for like the longest time. It's just the perfect cool tone neutral shadows, which favorite. I'm more of a cool tone girl more than anything because I'm just cool toned in general. So yeah, this is one of my favorite palettes. I always love this palette. I might get a new one just because this one's in rough shape. One is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I don't have the blush palette just because it never looked intriguing. Again, I love this palette. This is my favorite cool tone eyeshadow shade ever. And they have a ton, like five glittery shades just for the lid which I love because I love glitter shades. I hate using the same one every single day. Like a lot of palettes only have a couple but yeah I love this palette. Never get rid of it. I love the packaging of this more than anything. This is like the prettiest packaging on a, most of my palettes pretty much. Next one is my Modern Renaissance palette. I was not gonna get this that I got it and this one's so loved. I have it. I love this palette so much. It's my baby. Um, if I'm like running late, this is one of my go-to palettes. It's, it's easily blends out. I know I'm not gonna have any problems with it. So it just works so well. That's a staple palette in my collection. I'm never get rid of that. Next is the Little Rock Pro 3 palette. I want the other two, mainly the first one over the second one, but I just haven't got it yet. This is just a whole lot of neutrals. Has some warm tones, has some cool tones. Um, this palette's alright. It's not my favorite. I've used it a couple times. It's just, you can only create so many looks with this palette. But again, I would never get rid of it. I love the Lorac palettes. I love their formula. This is my first palette from Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro Mega 3 palette. And this one is my child. I love this palette so much. My dogs also chewed on this one and I almost cried. Because I'm like, this is limited edition, you can't eat this. I was so upset when they chewed it, but thankfully, um, they did not disturb any of the eyeshadows. But this is just one of the prettiest palettes ever. I wish this palette was not limited edition because I think this palette is perfect. Especially for me, because it has a bunch of, like, pinks, which I love pinks. It has a bunch of, like, cool tones. Um, a couple warm tones, not a whole lot. And it has all these are glitters not colors but shimmers and then all these are mattes 
So I love these palettes. I love the Lorac palettes. Probably get the one that does come out this year, depending what it looks like. But even if it doesn't look that intriguing to me, I'll probably still get it because I love collecting palettes. Next one, this is a recent one. This is Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Um, a little disappointed in this. Not because of like the formula. I think the formula actually is pretty good on this palette. It blends really good, better than some of my recent Too Faced palettes. But the only problem I have with it, it only has eight matte shades out of matte shades out of 30 eyeshadows, which is terrible i feel like like i would have been fine with 10 maybe even 15 like that's half the palette so i would be okay with 15 of them being shimmers but over half of this palette is shimmer and that upsets me so much because like you really can't create too many looks i have used some of the shimmers in my crease because i feel like the shimmer uh kind of falls off really so it's makes it kind of matte but it's still kind of shimmery but still that's the only problem i've had with this palette besides that i love it i think it's gorgeous it looks better in pictures than when i got it but hey it's not bad i do love this palette the next was Too faced i have the Too faced chocolate bar palette and i also have the Too faced sweet peach palette don't care for this one too much um it's better now now that i'm better at putting on makeup and blending and everything but when i first got this this palette is so hard to blend it's so easy to accidentally like blend away the eyeshadows it's too easy to make the eyeshadows look so money just because there's so many brown shades you really have to switch your brush you can't dip in you can't dip into the shade and then go to like the shade and then go to the shade because i get so money which i know you're not supposed to do that but i'm so lazy when i do makeup i just want to use like one brush and get down especially if i'm in a rush so this palette's okay it's better now than i know how to do makeup but this sweet peach palette i've already talked about this in my favorites video recent favorites i love this palette I love the smell. It makes me want to lick all the eyeshadows. It does taste good. Not that I licked it. It's just the powder, like a residue going in the air. like got my mouth. And I'm like, oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> but this is the Perfect Summer Palette. I've already talked about this, so I won't talk about this too much. But this is my favorite palette so far from Too Faced. I, I love this palette. Never will ever get rid of this. It's just such an easy palette to use. It's so easy to create so many different looks. And that's what I like about it most. I have another Tarte palette. This is the Tarte Sex Kit palette. I haven't used it too much just because I feel like this is more of a fall palette because it has some very like deep shades like these two very deep. Even this like transition shade is kind of deep. So I would definitely use this more in the fall because it's more of like darker shades but it's still really pretty and it's still really good quality. Same quality as this uh, Man Eater palette. This next is the Tarte Urban Decay palette. Well Tarte Naked. Wait. Tarte Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I've talked about this one of my favorites too. I use this on my eyes today with a ColourPop like shimmer glitter shout out. But love this palette so much. So easy to blend. So easy to work with. Which I did not expect that. Especially after getting the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. Did not care for that palette. But I still have it because I just I can't part ways, ways with that. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat running crazy. I got him a little bell so I can hear where he's at all the time. And he runs everywhere with it one i have is the tart tardiest pro palette and this is a really good summer palette too because it has a whole lot of pinks and purples and this palette is so gorgeous don't care for these shimmers too much but i do love this palette i love creating my purple smoky eye looks with this because it has so many purples so many transition shades which i love because i'm so fair toned so i need a lot of transition shades just to build up a nice intense eye just so it blends seamlessly, everything looks good. Next, I have this Alice in Wonderland palette. Well, Alice Looking Through the Glass palette from Urban Decay. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this palette is so bulky, but this is not, this is just holds it, and this is the palette itself. I will never get rid of this. I know this is a limited edition, but I love this palette. It's my really only, like, really colorful palette that I have, besides, like, glitters. Like, I don't have anything that has, like, these greens or that blue or that blue or any of the oranges, really. I need to get more colored palettes, but as of right now, this is my only one, and I love it so much. 
And then the next one I have a Naked Smoky palette. I just won't ever get rid of this for one. The packaging is so pretty. I love the marble packaging. I think that's why I bought this one over because this was my first ever high-end palette I've ever had. So this is like very sentimental, sentimental to me because this is my first one. Um, my 13 shade just break. I was kind of upset by that because I'm like I paid $54 for this thing and eyeshadows are breaking. What the fuck? But it's not bad. I do love it still. It's just very hard to create many looks just because everything is so dark so you really can't like create a nice a light look which I know it's a smoky palette but still it doesn't really have any transition shades like it has this pink one and that's about it. <laughs> I mean, I still like this palette. I've used it every once in a while, but it's just, I think it's hard to blend for some reason. I don't know why. I've tried to figure out why. Just not obsessed with that palette, but I will never get rid of it because it's very sentimental to me because it's my first one I ever bought on my own. This next one is a Too Faced Power Makeup Palette by Nikki Tutorials. I don't think it's that bad, but it's just, it just was so hard to blend for me. I don't know if it was like the primer I was using. I do love this like mystic hour shade. Once you get that film off at first, I feel like it's pretty pigmented. I'm sorry, I don't know what's up with these swatches. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. This, but these two shades are really good once you get that film off. This champagne truffle shade, literally, it sucks. Like, I'm going like that a billion times and nothing. Yeah, um, I was kind of disappointed about this palette, and it was $60, well, $59. It came with an eyeliner, hated the eyeliner, it came with the glitter, I think I lost the glitter, and it came with, I think, shadow insurance? Yeah, I think it came with an eyeshadow primer. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it came with an eyeshadow primer, and it came with the purple mascara, which I think is dried out, but I do have it still, and I've never used it. Just because when someone can use a, mas a purple mascara. Alright, next I have this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is a fake palette. And I went through Wish. And I was reading all the reviews. And everyone's like, it's so real. It's a real thing. So then me being very naive like I am. I thought it was real and I got it. This is like tore up because I would use this every day just to do my eyebrows. I have actually never used this on my face because the eyeshadows are shit. They're so chalky. They're so like, they're terrible. And I was like going at stores. I'm like, why is mine terrible compared to the one that I got on Wish? And it's because it's fake. So I'm just probably going to throw this away, honestly, just because no one's going to want a fake palette. And it even has like a barcode number and everything like this looks pretty legit it's not now because she has new packaging now and then this is my last like eyeshadow palette that i have at high end this is the tarte graveyard girl swamp king queen palette and i don't know why everyone was given this palette such crap i thought it was a good palette i love the highlighter in this even though it's kind of chunky i still think it's super pretty and like even though the shade has a lot of glitter fallout I still think it's like this this palette blends so easily so well i don't know why everyone was giving this palette such crap no i've never used this shade as a bronzer because this is just way way too orange and red for me but i have used this blush as a blush and it's nice and pigmented and i love this highlighter as an eyeshadow shade as a highlighter these pa these shadows are so easy to blend. I don't know why everyone's like hating on it. So and these last ones I'm just gonna go through quickly because they're just face palettes, but they're high end, and I don't have enough to make a full video on them. So first two I have are both of the Anastasia by Real Hills contour palettes. I've used both of these to death pretty much. I've had this one for a while. Um, the shades are kind of drying out. I just haven't used it in a while, but I need to get back on using it but the pan sizes are huge on this for a cream contour palette and then i well and both of them are i think are in the shades this is in the shade light this is light to medium and this palette is a well-loved also i use all of these shades pretty much pretty much i use these two for bronzers this for contour obviously this to like sometimes i'll go overboard with contour blush so i'll like 
put a ton on like a buffing brush and this pat it on and it kind of helps well same with these three shades too it kind of helps like calm that down a little bit next is another contour palette which it's an okay contour palette um i love the radiance highlighter in this palette i think it's awesome and it's very underrated um i just i like this palette but it's just too pigmented it's so easy to go overboard with it and that's the only thing i don't like about this palette this one i never used either well i've used this a couple times but i just never got it this is a Too faced no filter selfie palette you're supposed to put this powder on your face and it's supposed to give you like edits or whatever like instagram does like with the edits so i never really understood this palette and then these next three i have are smashbox our smashbox palette this is my most recent one this is the casey holmes collaboration too and the shade pearl i love this palette obviously I talked about this in my recent favorites because i like it this much that much um the only thing that sucks about it the shade's a little too dark and watching i think my koki foundation review you could see like where my highlighter started and i did not realize it was like that dark on me and then these next two are just face palettes this is the la lights blush and highlight palette in malibu malibu berry i do like this these are just extremely pigmented so you have to be careful with these two don't remember how much these were though because i've had them for a while and then this is the contour palette from smashbox same with the um the blush palette and the it cosmetics these are just super pigmented you have to be extremely careful especially with that contour shade that's a contour shade it's such a dark contour shade but it's not a bad palette they're both not bad palettes you just have to be careful when you're using them and then this tarte palette i love tarte palettes if you cannot tell i, I think that's the most high-end palettes i have so i have a seven tarte palette that's my favorite brand if you can't tell yet um and this is just from the christmas collection last year this is the blush and i think highlight this is supposed to be a highlight this is way too dark to be a highlight i would just use this as like blush top topper this highlight's okay it's not very like pigmented or anything but it's not bad i look i actually use these blushes all the time i used mod today and it's a very nice like a wash of color it's not a whole lot which is why i actually love this palette because it's not very pigmented which is perfect for blush especially for me because i'm so fair skin tone and then last but not least is the anastasia glow kit in that glow i still want the sweets one the be the gleam one for sure moon child and aurora i think i want all four of those mostly moon child and aurora gold and bronze is definitely way too dark for me um to bring in gold is isn't too dark, I just have to be careful. And then I use Sunburst all the time and Bubbly all the time. If you guys liked my palette, well, high-end palette collection, then give this video a thumbs up so I know to do another video for my drugstore palette collection, which I have just about the same amount because I have a ton of palettes. I love palettes more than anything. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys want to see next so i know what to do for you guys and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i'm uploading every monday and friday from now on unless something comes up which something shouldn't come up i will see you guys all in my next video thank you for watching bye